Hello and welcome to BNM Learning. In this video, we are going to learn how to build our first REST based OIC integration. Let's begin. In this video, we are going to show you how to build a simple REST based integration wherein uh, we will pass our name in the input in JSON format and the response will be greetings like hello followed by name. Log into your Oracle Cloud instance, navigate to integration and from integration select click on this connections. On the right top corner you can see this create button click on the create button use a meaningful name over here here from the uh, drop down menu select trigger i will explain different topic what does each role signifies when we set up a connection okay, when we configure the connection if you want to specify any keyword you can give your keyword over here if you want to provide any description you can provide it over here and once all the details are filled up click on create as we are using this rest connection only to expose our integration over rest over https protocol we don't have uh, any details to fill like the endpoint url and all because integrate oic will generate our endpoint at the time when we deploy our integration once done click on save if required we can click on this test button once it shows 100 percent we can exit next switch to integrations tab from here on the right top corner you can see this create button click on the create button from here we have to select app driven integration as we are building our integration which is invoke the external event in this case it is, is nothing but we are going to invoke our integration over rest over https protocol click on select give some meaningful name if you want to package our integration uh, in some particular package then we can give it over here if you want to uh, give any keyword we can give it over here we can provide the description if any like for example i am building this rest integration for demonstration purpose let me give it a rest service demonstration once done click on this create button uh, once the integration canvas opens we may need to click we have to click on this plus button and select our REST learning connection here we have to give some meaningful name if you want to have many verbs HTTP works uh, to be exposed in our REST service then we can add this and go for it like uh, to, we want this trigger point to handle REST post batch etc and having a different endpoints as well we can configure by selecting this and we can configure click on next here operation name what it does trigger test okay. here endpoint we are giving slash test basically it will be used to uh, trigger our integration here as we are sending the body in rest service we have to select the post and click on configure request for the payload for this endpoint configure this uh, endpoint to receive the response yes as we are sending the request we have to click on this uh, checkbox and uh, we, as we are receiving the response from this integration we have to click on this checkbox click on next here we need to select on the request tab it asks for the message format click on json and go to here sample and we have to enter this sample we have to enter the sample json or the bottom we, we are getting this ok button click on this if you are not getting this ok button just uh, minimize the browser window by clicking on control and minus okay. once then click on next oh, again it asks for uh, response message format we have to select json sample click on json and click on this inline it's the response message sam sample type and click on ok but is by clicking on inline we have to enter the sample once done click on next at the end it is on the summary page it is our rest service uri is last test method is post request type is json response type is json once done click on done as we are building a simple integration wherein we get the name from the input and we are sending back the uh, greetings back click on this mapper and click on this edit symbol this will open up the mapper expand the response wrapper and 
we could see this greetings uh, element over here which uh, we wanted to be displayed in the output similarly expand on this request wrapper and we could see this name element what we had passed in our input now click on this greetings right click on this and cl click on create target node okay. if you see over here at the right top corner there is a toggle functions button click on this and go to string functions there are n number of function over here we will explain in a different topic what each does select this concat this function to your expressions window here we have to give some message that is hi space and here we have to drag this name and drop it in the expressions window once done click on the save basically it will validate maps or request to response by adding the concatenation function basically it will display hi and our name what has been passed okay if you want to see this code view if people are comfortable in uh, right, writing the mapping in xslt language then yes you could do this over here okay this xslt uh, uh, this, this is version 2.0 if you guys are comfortable working in xslt yes you can go directly over here and write the code if you want to test uh, the integration uh, if you want to test the mapper build then click on this test tab and uh, click on this generate input basically this will generate a uh, sample request and response over here uh, sample request with the name field as name 73 this we can modify it to binum okay. and click on execute and on the response we can see hi binum so once we are satisfied with the mapping click on close okay. click on the save button we could see this one error message error click on this and check what is this error basically this is because uh, each integration is tracked by a business identifier and we have not added yet click on this uh, hamburger menu on the right top corner and click on tracking tracking window opens up and we need to select this name and click on the arrow button and it will map this to one of the tracking fields if you want to change the name of the tracking field then we can do it over here and name basically this will be used for monitoring the runtime uh, integration instances i have covered this topic in uh, get getting started with oic integrations video please check out the video I will give the link in the description click on save click on save as you can see we are no more getting this error message click on close once done we need to click on this activate symbol from the dialog we have to enable the tracing basically this will help us to get the payload uh, in the monitoring uh, window uh, for the runtime instances for this integration uh, uh, this is basically used for debugging and uh, uh, testing purposes uh, wherein if we if we come across any errors during runtime then we can directly go to monitoring with the help of tracing and payload we can track what went wrong with the data okay so click on this activate button once it's active click on this run button and click on test okay. switch over to body here uh, we can give beginners and click on test Here we'll get the greetings hi beginners so like this you can build your first rest based integrations thank you for watching this video please do like comment and subscribe the channel